Kenny Quigley, the Gypsy Jester, the bester jester than all the rest of, jester of kings and king of all jesters. I should point out that many of the things that I'm doing right now is an optical illusion. Uh, for instance, those of you who are paying attention to me, take a couple steps forward. Take a step forward. It's an optical illusion. I will appear taller. Can you see how that works? Very good. Thank you, love. Very good. Love. Now, it's also so I don't have to project and dis disturb all the people back there. This art form which I bring to you now is known throughout the realm as contact gesture. It is the subtle manipulation of spheres, the commingling of juggling and magic. Though in truth it is neither. No, there's no strength. You want to catch? No, all right. You can catch, right? It's real. All right, it's okay. I can't throw. That's my problem. That's why I do contact juggling. So it's not remotely attached to me. I wish it were. No, it's the commingling of juggling and magic. But it's neither, because jugglers throw things with the greatest of ease, and magicians have a tendency to lie. You see, I'll take this magical ball, put it behind my back, and make it leap through my chest. Oh. <laughs> Disgusting. Can't stand magicians. No. Contact juggling, everything is possible, just fringing on the realm of improbable. But truly, it's all based on the laws of physics. And one of the laws of physics is that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Therefore, if I were to drop one of these spheres down, the other shall rise up in an equal and opposite reaction. You see, the red is the time of fantastical learning and exploration. We have to share that with all of you today. But the gents in the audience going two balls, I could do that at home. Three! That would be unnaturally impressive. Because now there's more objects than I have hands, requires that I move very quickly to keep up. I believe an ooh is appropriate. Ooh. Thank you. No, not yet. You're early. <laughs> Let's see. Or we can attempt to place them all into a single hand. Ah. Now, each manipulation, each trick which I perform has a name. And some of them have absolutely ridiculous names, uh, such as the Caterpillar of Doom. <laughs> yes, one day she'll grow into a very stern butterfly. <laughs> the Squid of Death. Sound, yeah, it sounds epic. Looks like this. <laughs> There's also the rarely seen jellyfish. <laughs> and the aptly named, you should have seen it coming. <laughs> now the astute observers among you have noted that these may appear slightly similar. Yes. Others are more difficult and do require the use of a great many digits as you can clearly see. Now, if at any point you find yourselves feeling dizzy or perhaps faint, please look away. Before we're finished, this can and will become even more twisted. I like that. 
This next trick is known throughout the land as Oh Snap. That's Irish. Yes. See, I snap my fingers and it leaps to the top. We can try it on this side, perhaps even from the front. Perhaps not. It's all right. I'm the amazing Kenny, not the perfect Kenny. There we are. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking, and you are absolutely right. This one takes a lot of balls. <laughs> Now, my friends, there are a great many jugglers, a great many jesters in these realms, and they throw things with the greatest of ease. It's all well and good. But I am one of the few entertainers who would dare to shock and enthrall an entire audience with nothing but a single sphere, one object, as it remains totally and completely immobilized. It gets more interesting. <laughs> now, my friends, if you wander throughout the rest of this day with your eyes closed and your ears deaf to all that is before you, still you have witnessed something incredible. You have seen Kenny Quigley, the Gypsy Jester, the best of Jester than all the rest of, Jester of Kings, and King of all Jesters. Thank you much for watching my little show. If you'd like to make a contribution, I do accept small pieces of paper with dead people on it. Uh, this show was brought to you by John Wilkes Booth Confetti. Nothing says surprise quite like John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> Thank you very much.